We've managed to put aside a day every year to honor most of our loved ones. Though these rituals sometimes smack of commercialism, they can sometimes also provide the inspiration to give the greatest present of all, the gift of love. And that's what our story's about in this episode of Still a Beaver. They wait all the time to get their driver's license, and all they want to do is run. And ride bikes that don't go nowhere. Real <laughs> dumb. Mm. Glad I got you three together. Have you given any thought to what you're going to do for your dad for Father's Day? Same as usual, I guess. Wrong. This year, the adults are not going to buy the presents. Now, I don't think it's asking too much to have you buy your father's a little present or plan something special to do with them. Anything to show them how much you appreciate them. You don't have to worry about me, Grandma. I'm already making something for my dad. Oh. <laughs> Shh, come the beaver. Hi. Hello, beaver. Uh, what's everybody doing out here? Oh, we were, um, uh, Teaching Grandma how to do the flyback. Oh. Well, I think I've got it now. I'm going to try it one more time. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> you try it again. <laughs> now look, I know you boys aren't going to disappoint your father, so don't put it off until the last minute. Okay, I'll buy him something with the money I've left from what Dad gave me to buy you a Mother's Day present. I guess that's allowed. How about you, Ollie? Well, look, I would have had some money, except and I got this hole in my pocket. Well, I guess we could arrange a small emergency loan, provided your pockets are in good working order. Thanks, Grandma. And don't worry. I'll keep the money in my socks. The holes are smaller. <laughs> Training table's open. Dad, don't you get tired of eating 
just noodles every day? Well, honey, when you're going to run a marathon, you have to store carbohydrates. Huh. That looks good. What's that? Um, no, I'm in training. Go easy, Wally. Save room for dessert. A big, freshly baked Idaho potato. Mm. If I clean my plate, could I have one, too? Maybe. Well, I'm glad you two find this so amusing. You know, if Christopher Columbus's family gave him this kind of support, we'd still be living in Spain. Dad, wasn't Columbus from Italy? Eat your dinner. <laughs> hey, look. If you guys don't want me to run in his Father's Day marathon, why don't you come right out and say so? Oh, honey, you can do whatever you want to on Father's Day. My dad goes to the pancake house and then watches fishing shows all day. You want to run 26 miles, it's okay with us guys. Really? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh. 7.30. I'm off to bed. <laughs> Good night, honey. Ollie, come on. We've been all over town. Do you want to buy this for Dad or not? What's the big deal about hot shaving cream? Holly, let's just buy this and go home. We're never going to find a barbecue apron with the name Beaver on it. Oh, yeah? You're not the boss of me, Kit Cleaver. Fine. You want to get your own present? See whether Dad looks better wearing my apron or your shaving cream. just rehung the towel bar. No more chin-ups in the bathroom. Right, Dad. What you got in the bag? What bag? Oh, this bag. Um, it's for my bag collection. Oh, I didn't know you collected bags. Oh, yeah. Hundreds of paper bags from all over the world. Okay? We'll have to do that real soon. Uh, right now, I promised your Uncle Wally I'd help him take his blood pressure. <laughs> Did you find something good for your father? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. He's going to love it. And did you have it wrapped? No, uh, this wasn't a wrapping place. The guy had enough trouble just making change. Oh, come on. You need to fix it up real nice. Your father's going to be back any time. But that isn't a surprise. We're not going to tell Dad, you little chuckle brain. <laughs> Thank you, Kip. Come on, Ollie. Let's see what you got. Okay. But just remember, I didn't like it so much when I first saw it either. <laughs> What on earth would make you buy something like this? Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> Duffy, why don't you wait outside for a few minutes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know all of it was getting yelled at. Or I would have just listened at the door. <laughs> Oliver, how long did you think you could pass this off as a gift? Well, I was hoping at least till they'd open it. Maybe you better start thinking about other people's feelings instead of just your own. And clean up this room. Boy, Ollie. Sure messed up this time. Hey, I heard the whole thing. This never would have happened if you would have listened to me and gotten the blue one. Come on, Duffy. I already feel like the dumbest kid who ever lived. Nah, you're not the dumbest. I saw him on a TV special. <laughs> you better go now, Duffy. I'm gonna stand in front of the air conditioning and catch ammonia. That way, no one will yell at me tomorrow. <laughs> Look, I know how to give your dad a great present, and it won't cost a thing. You see, grown-ups are weird. They really would rather get something that you made for them. You any good with these? I think there's some things okay. Like what? Batman? Mm, good enough. <laughs> now, if you really want to make your dad happy tomorrow, all you got to do is draw a picture of you hugging him. That's it? Yeah. Stand in front of the house with a happy son. I bet your dad cries and tells you it's the best present he ever had. That does look like Batman. That's the house. Oh. That's right. 
And you helped me keep it made a secret. That was wrong, too. That's right, too. But uh, you're a father. How come you did it? Well, maybe that's why I did it, Beaver. You see, parents aren't always perfect, either. Sometimes they love their children so much that they'll do almost anything to keep them from being hurt, even if it means making a mistake now and then. Gee, Dad, I guess there's an awful lot more to being a father than just making money and hollering. <laughs> there sure is. And Dad, thanks for the hamster. Okay, Beaver. that you're wearing. Oh. Well, it's, it's my Father's Day present. You know how it is. I've got to wear it at least once just so they don't think they totally wasted their money. Nonetheless, it certainly does become you. Uh, yeah, well, I guess it does accentuate my natural athletic grace. Uh, speaking of which, what's the latest from the Bunyan Derby? All we've heard is he didn't get off to a very good start. Hey, I wouldn't worry. You know, he didn't pass the bar exam the first time he took it either. the same expression on his face when he walked down the aisle at your wedding. <laughs> hey, good turnout. All right, Cleaver, let's make it look good. Shoulders back. Here we go. Oh, look at him. My wife, my daughter, my video camera, my mother, my brother, my nephews, my best friend. Oh, I love them. Everything I am, I owe to them. And I've never even thanked them.
Tuesday. <laughs> How did you know? Wow, what do you get for the man who finished 198? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we have here? It's a poem I wrote for you. It rhymes and everything. You want to hear it? Well, of course I do. <laughs> By Kelly J. Cleaver. My dad was born after World War II. His eyes are very, very blue. When I was young, he read me Tom Sawyer. He makes a good living because he's a lawyer. His other kids think their dads are king, but mine's the best, and I'm not lying. My dad, my daddy, my pop, my father, my friend, my... Kelly, honey, I'm sure your father would love to hear this again when he wakes up. <laughs> Don't worry, he did the same thing after the Springfield game. And that's when he was in his prime. Let's give out some presents to the father that's awake. Yeah, Dad. Open mine first. Yeah, Dad. Open Kip's first. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Dad. Oh, thanks, Kip. What is this? Hey, endangered species cologne. You know, that's terrific. You really didn't have to do this. Big deal. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Ah, uh, thanks, son. Oliver, you have something for your father. I hope. Oh, well, yeah. I guess I sort of do. <laughs> What have we here? Thanks, Camp. Well, you maybe ought to shouldn't thank me until you open it. Look, a videotape. What is it? Maybe an old movie like, uh, Viva Las Vegas? No. It's more like a Father's Day card. Except you gotta have a TV to look at it. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, no, Dad. Not in front of the whole world, okay? Whatever you want, son. Come on. Let's start lunch. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hang on, Ollie. It's all blurry. Ready, set, go. <coughs> Hi, Dad. It's me, your son, Oliver Cleaver. And the reason I'm doing this is because you've got a right to know what kind of a rat your kid is. Because only a real rat wouldn't come up with a gift for his dad on Father's Day. It's not like he didn't have a chance or anything. Grandma lent me the money. And I blew it all on junk, like ice cream. And this. <laughs> Pretty dumb, huh? And then I did something even dumber. I listened to Duffy Guthrie. He told me just what to draw so you'd like it. I didn't know what a rat I was, so I saw you staring at that picture of you and Grandpa. And that made me think of you and how you always share your fries with me at McDonald's. And how you always call me champ, even though I hardly never won nothing. And that whole Saturday we spent looking for a 40 clover. And when we come home at night, I always pretend to fall asleep in the car. Because nothing feels nicer than when you carry me upstairs and put me into bed. And Dad, even though I did goof up, can we still be friends? Because I sure love you a lot. Okay? <laughs> <laughs>